There's a lot of changing coming up, as you saw with uh, Dermot's numbers. We have a record high number of people in the National Association of Realtors. This is all about to change. Now, so for those of you who are our members, I'm gonna reinforce for you our strategy called the Fab Four. And for those of you who are not yet members, and you probably will be soon, this will be a roadmap to bust out of this recession so that this recession doesn't bust your business. So here's the Fab Four, and you're gonna get your, get your head around this. You'll find that this is fun, this is approachable, and this should also give you a lot of peace of mind of how you can grow your business uh, while many people around you are getting out of the business, there'll be some offices that are closing, there'll be a lot of turmoil here in the next 24 months in real estate. And, and there needs to be, let's be candid. The market was actually too hot. Helping somebody trying to find a home and there's 40 offers and they have no chance of buying a home, well, that's kind of frustrating. And that's frustrating for a legitimate buyer who's trying to get into the marketplace. Uh, the other dynamic is it's very hard to differentiate yourself in the marketplace when the market's this hot. So the true professionals, the really skilled pros who are really excellent at their job, very hard to differentiate with the speed of the market. So all this is about to calm down into what I believe is a very good market. And we'll talk a little bit about that. So first and foremost of the Fab Four is more referrals. So the Fab Four is more of everything, but more of four things that are in priority. More referrals. Now, the reason this is important is referrals are what fuel your business and this is how healthy you know your business is. This is like checking your pulse. It's not always about how much income you make, it's how many referrals you're receiving on a weekly and monthly basis in your business. That's the overall health of your business. The second part of the Fab Four is more sales. Now this is ultimately gonna defeat the recession. It will also defeat inflation. We're dealing with some pretty high inflation numbers. My encouragement to all of you is the biggest thing you could do to beat inflation is to grow your business at a higher percentage rate than inflation is. So if you think about it, let's say right now we have inflation at 8%, maybe a little higher. Can you grow your business by 10%? That means if you did 10 sales last year, can you do 11? If you did 20 sales last year, can you do 22? If you did 30 sales, can you do 33? That's what we're talking about. And if you do that, you don't have to be worried about inflation anymore. You don't have to be all caught up watching the news and barking at politicians and all frustrated about the gas prices and so on and so forth. If you can grow your business by 10% in regards to your sales, you've defeated inflation. And if you defeat inflation, you'll defeat the recession. Here's the third part of the Fab Four. It's more net income. More net income. This is what you get to keep. There is no award in real estate for net income. There's award for most listings and most sales and gross commissions, all kinds of things. But there is no award for net income. Those awards are given by two people. One is your spouse or whoever you share your economic life with, or two, your banker. You might get a parking, lot, uh, parking spot at the front of the bank if you make enough deposits. So we want more referrals, we want more sales, we want more net income. And then here's the last part. This is huge, more time off more time off. You know, for the past couple of years since real estate was declared an essential work, the fact of the matter is it's been hectic. You've been running hard. If you're in this business, you've been running hard. If you're representing a buyer or seller, the market's running at such speed, it's been hard to take any time off. It's been hard to take a vacation. It's been a breakneck, hectic pace. And by the way, as much as I've heard people complain about the pace, they're terrified that the market's about to change. Oh my God, this can't keep this up. This is terrible. We have too many offers. It's going too high. The prices are going up too high. I'm, this is terrible, terrible, terrible. Market's about to change. Oh my God. And so I just had, had an event here recently and, and that was the exact way I called out the audience and they were laughing at themselves, of course, because it's true. More time off is an important part of the Fab Four. It's an important part of how we coach somebody because you've been running hard. You've been doing this perpetually. You need to have the time off for the breaks. It's a good life and you can have a good business. You wanna make more, you wanna have more referrals. You wanna make more sales. You want more net income. And some of you believe that means you need to work harder and put in more time. And not so fast, my friend. More time off is a key ingredient of how we approach coaching someone else.